Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, a late night high school recruiting update. You guys see the cutoff sweatshirt normally means it's a little bit of a late night update. And we have a really interesting and kind of developing story as Marco, Marcos Davila from Texas. He's a top 20 quarterback nationally, decommits from TCU, and is now reopening his recruiting process again. Before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to you guys. The support you guys have shown truly means a lot. And, and my favorite part about doing this one is I love talking like roster development at the college football level. And that comes from transfer portal. That comes from high school recruiting. And it's been a blast to talk with all the fans from different programs about their respective teams. So if you do enjoy the content, you like talking some high school recruiting, consider subscribing to the channel. We really do appreciate all the support you guys have shown. Now let's talk a little Marcos Davila, what has happened in the last couple of months. And then we'll talk about some potential programs that are in the mix. And you know it's going to be Coach Ryan in Colorado, who just offered him last month. And then Miami. They seem to be the team that's kind of in the lead form. But starting with the player. And there is so much to like. And this is a guy that I think is going to continue to rise in these rankings as we get into the 2023 high school season. Because there's so much to like about him. 6'3", 220 pounds. He's a fully grown dude as a rising senior. And when you watch his film, when you even just watch his highlights, <laughs> excuse me, he absolutely rips the ball. And that's that's why these teams are gravitating to him. That's why you see him continuing to pick up big time offers. And you know when 24-7 sees the schools like Miami, Texas AM sending offers, that's normally when you get, kind of get the bump in the in the high school recruiting ranking. So committed to TCU on December 22nd. And obviously that was when Garrett Riley was still the OC. They were going to the college football playoffs. A lot has changed since then. Garrett Riley obviously taking the job at Clemson. He has backed off his commitment. I think a lot of programs got the sense that he was backing off his commitment because obviously the offensive coordinator leaves, and that was the primary reason why he's committing to TCU. And then you see a lot of offers roll in for this kid. Two programs that I really want to – actually, probably three programs that you want to talk about. One, Purdue has come in with an offer. He's scheduled to take a visit there in March. But more importantly, Miami, February 20th, offered him. Shannon Dawson, that's his first offer as the offensive coordinator for Miami. And this is a guy that we're coming over from the University of Houston, very familiar with Marcos Davila, and obviously liked his game a lot, recruited him when he was at University of Houston, and now using his first scholarship offer on this quarterback that he obviously must love if he's offering a quarterback this early on in the process. Now, Davila was on record saying really likes Miami. He actually attended a camp there in seventh grade, and now he's going to take an official visit sometime in March. And the interesting part about it was he's not going to come during the junior day. He's going to come later on where he gets a more intimate visit with the offensive coaching staff with Mario Cristobal. <clears throat> this seems to be a guy that is very high on Miami's board, and there seems to be some mutual interest. Now, the other program that you have to talk about, and it seems like in almost every time we talk about high school recruiting, Coach Prime is in the mix. They have also come in with an offer for him, and this is kind of the class that I think you'll see a lot of interest from quarterbacks. In that 2023 class with Shadir Sanders kind of locking up that starting job, a lot of these big-time quarterbacks knew they weren't going to have it. For one, we're already committed to previous schools um, while Coach Prime took the job. And then two, you kind of knew you weren't going to have a shot at starting at starting at that quarterback position as a true freshman with Shadir Sanders coming in from Jackson State as well, and probably not in 2024 either. And so a lot of those big-time quarterbacks weren't – Colorado wasn't really going after any quarterbacks, and, and I don't think a lot of big-time quarterbacks were looking at Colorado as a landing spot because of the tough road to playing time early on in their career it would be at Colorado. This is the class where I think Coach Prime is eyeing a quarterback of the future. And Marcos Davila – is a guy that is high on the list. Coach Lewis, their offensive coordinator, took a visit out to Marcos Davila at his high school in Texas. So you obviously know there's some mutual interest there as well. Interested to see if he books an official visit out to Boulder, Colorado, because it does seem like whenever Coach Prime gets a guy on campus, they're often committing to him as well. From what I've seen, Miami seems to be the front runner. Shannon Dawson really likes this kid. And I think Marcos, Really, really like Shannon Dawson as well. Again, in the interview, it sounded like he was really excited about the opportunity. And again, less than 48 hours after he gets the official offer from Miami, now he's decommitting from TCU. So there must have been something that has changed. 
and it does sound like it is that Miami offer. He's going to take a visit out to Miami, and we might see a done deal by the end of March or into April. And this is a really exciting time for Miami as you're, excuse me, looking at the future of both sides of the football and how Miami has dominated the recruiting trail. And so Miami in the run, I think Colorado's in the run, and I also think Purdue with Graham Harrell as the offense coordinator, probably in the run as well. This is a really interesting recruiting process, though, because I do think this will be a top 15, potentially even top 10 quarterback when it's all said and done, because when you look at the traits, this dude is very special. He's coming from the state of Texas, where they play a high quality of high school football, and a lot of those Texas quarterbacks tend to translate to the college level and to the NFL level. Again, wanted to keep this one short, but just talk about some of the programs that are in play for Marcos Davila as we jump into this 2024 class. Again, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all later. Peace.